What's up, everyone? Welcome to another, as you can see, Classics Lounge. Tonight is the official night for Classics Lounge. It's Wednesday night. So thank you all for joining me for yet another episode. So get your drinks out and kick back and relax. So we're about to travel back in time. 15. 15 years ago, 2003, on the original Xbox, we saw what a lot of people go um, as far as saying KOTOR. But it's really Star Wars Nice to the Old Republic. So it's by a little company of Bioware. Have you ever heard of them, Andrew? Mm -mm. You never heard of Bioware? No. Nope. Really? Nope. Yeah. Well, Andrew has never heard of this game either. <laughs> So she's in for a treat. Because tonight we're gonna play some Knights of the Old Republic. So if you didn't know Bioware, they made a little game series known as Mass Effect and Dragon Age. So you're gonna see a lot of elements that became perfected years later with those franchises, but really kinda, not necessarily started, but kinda laid the groundwork here with this game. So let's hop on over and let's uh, check this out. Andrea's has taken the control. She is going to start a new game here. We're going to see what she picks because she loves character customization. So this will probably be the entire episode. She does like to spend a little bit of time on customizing characters. So if you have any suggestions or feedback on what she should do, I'll just do quick. You'll just do quick? No. That's lame. Anyone out there ever played this game? Or quite the opposite, never heard of this game? And if you're in Facebook land, so far we haven't gotten kicked off of Facebook like we did before. So... Feel free to try to chat in there. We've had some issues with it. So if you do want to join in the chat, you don't see your little chat thing below popping up. Hop on over to twitch.tv slash dose of nerd acumen or youtube.com slash dose of nerd acumen. But let's get started with the story, shall we? Are you excited? Are you excited? I'm excited. Andrew's not so excited. I got the eye roll. You want to narrate this? She said yes. <laughs> Knights of the Old Republic. 4,000 years before the rise of the Galactic Empire, the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak. Malak. Last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle, and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above the Outer Rim world of Taurus, a Jedi battle fleet engages the force of Darth Malak. Malak. I don't know how to pronounce that, so we're just making it up as we go. In a desperate effort to halt the cis galactic domination. So how's everyone doing out in Twitch land? I see y'all. What? Enjoying your Twitch? Okay. Whatever. It is whatever I say it is. Wrong way. We're gonna go that way. <laughs> it's opposite, same anything. Whatever, I'm done with you. I just keep getting stared at. Yes, that seems like a very practical pajama set for outer space. 
You don't know. By a Sith battle fleet. The end our spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the end our spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastion. <laughs> we have to make sure she That's why you haven't seen me before. Bastel is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer. Why does that look like she's the one in charge John Cena back in the day? One of our <laughs> primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training, tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. Word is the officers haven't seen a recruit with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastel is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. So hurry up and grab your gear. She looks so concerned. So we can get out of here. <laughs> Use the right thumbstick to control the camera and the left thumbstick to move towards your footlocker. Press the A button to open your locker once it is targeted. Or you can pull the left and right... I always right. hated when they break out of like story dialogue to mm -hmm. tell you about a thumbstick. What? I wish movies did that. Look at all those items you get. Fancy. Come on, we have to hurry. The Sith might put your equipment on so we. Uh. So. This was an unexpected week if you're joining us um, again here tonight of Star Wars. Or unplanned, I guess. The vote that you all decided upon for this week was this game pretty much unanimously. Uh, only a few of the 20 plus votes was for the game I played last night. Uh, so if you missed that stream, you can check out Star Wars Battlefront from 2004. Uh, on our YouTube channel right now. Um, definitely check that out. It was, it was a fun playthrough. A really cool game to go back to. But the game, that, like I said, that won the vote this week was the one that you're seeing right here. Which a lot of people still consider one of the best Star Wars okay, games to we date. I don't know if you, the viewer, right now feels that way. If you do, um, chat in. Uh, man, these graphics. So Sarah's talking about the graphics. It's it's a little rough. Uh, it looks like she's got a neck pillow stuffed down the back of her pants. Because of the attack, <laughs> this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the over. Rob is trying to hop on Twitch, but he's having some issues. You shouldn't hop on. You should log in. I heard there were issues with Twitch um, earlier today to too. So hopefully that's not the case the party, still. Black button now to switch me to the party. The black leader, button. Then use me to open. Yeah, there's black and white buttons on the original Xbox controller. I mean, remember that, but what's the black button? I think it's your bumpers. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. They re-released the Duke, which is the giant original Xbox controller. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. I really wanted we to get that to play these. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's I seen already more hate combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Why don't you like this guy? Oh, I hate the guys that tell you how to play the game. Oh, shut up, bro. Let me play. You don't like tutorials? Beep, 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 beep. Stop it. That door is locked. Target the door using the thumbsticks or the use the directional pad to cycle through the action until security Seems so is annoyed. highlighted. Then press the A button. Remember. These Sith must be 
So Andrew, you've played pretty much all the Dragon Age and Mass Effect games, correct? Yes. <clears throat> Are you noticing any similarities at all to any of those games? I mean, yeah. Such as? The dialogue? I've played like 10 minutes of the game, bro. Chill out. You chill out. Oops. BRB! Do I have duct tape in my bag so I can shut you the heck up, bro? You might. Oh. I'm supposed to use a med pack? Yeah, before we're moving on. Why? I only have a little bit of red gone. I'm not wasting a med pack, bro. Don't tell me my business. Let me guess, I have to switch to... No, I don't. Enemy sighted. Sure. Engage. Engage. <laughs> the combat, though. I'm not... I, I don't even hit a button. I just aim, and she goes and punches people. Yes. That's dumb. Wasn't that similar to Origins? If it was, I don't remember it. So I know that was kind of st like stiff. Like a I don't like want to talk to you. First, <laughs> use the black button. Notice the flash. Use the directional pad. Shut up. Oh, I got another sword. Yeah, you do get additional things throughout the game. Sure did. Combat suit. Yeah. This game is also available on iOS and Android. Bet you didn't know that, Andrew. I didn't know that. Yeah. So that's a fun fact. And I actually have this game. On the iPad. I got a gun now. Look at you. I'm gonna shoot some MFers. Like maybe Trask here because he's annoying the piss out of me. I think you already went that way, didn't you? Oh, yeah. did I? I don't know. Maybe not. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that was in my bedroom. I guess that's the beep. Just checking the area. No Oop. big deal. I get into a big battle and I don't even get to fight. Why do they look like Terminators? <laughs> the action so slow. Yeah, like I can just get to sit here and watch them, like Are you not firing? No, I don't fire. I just engage combat mode and she shoots whenever she decides to shoot. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I just have to tell her to engage. What's the action button? There isn't an action button. I'm not doing anything. I can do a power blast. Do that. Or a grenade. I think there's another hit the buttons. I swear there's. What were you just doing there to shoot? Nothing. Hmm. Rob made it. 
Welcome. It's a dark Jedi. This fight is too much for you. You didn't know. Playing Knights of the Old Republic tonight. I didn't kick like that. Just don't know. That was one really, of the Jedi accompanying Bastor. Damn, we could have used her help. <laughs> Damn. So Rob, have you played this game, or Sarah, have you played this game before? Especially, uh, I'd be surprised if you say no, being fans of Mass Effect and possibly Dragon Age. Did I just say Dark Jedi instead of Sith? Um, Sith is definitely, de the, the, the Bluetooth headset definitely mentioned in this as well, um, but there are also Dark Jedi. And you never got around to this one. And you wait, 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 wait. You had to be sold on Mass Effect. I feel like you're a big fan of Mass Effect, though. When did you first play Mass Effect, then? Because as you know, this is a Bioware game. Zords, MFR. That's pretty sweet. You're like Deadpool. I'm here. I'm pressure to kill him. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. See? I'm not pushing my buttons. So I was never really interested. Had a coworker that wouldn't stop talking about this though. Um, most people that enjoyed this game were obsessed with this game. Um, Desi is one that has a copy of this that recommended this one highly for us to play. Um, so I'll have to share this on his wall when he, so that way when he gets around to it, he can watch it. So shout out to you, man. We're playing the game. So thanks for your recommendation. We're playing this. This is an original Xbox game. It's backwards compatible on the Xbox One. So we're playing it that way. Uh, so if you have an Xbox One, you can get it for $9, which is not bad at all. Uh, definitely worth the price tag. Because a physical copy of this game is uh, new, over $100, pre-owned if you can find it in good condition. Um, higher than a normal new game. Um, when Mass Effect first came out, I just wasn't really interested. Uh, you managed to scoop a used collector's edition with everything still in it. That's shocking. Which system, though? PS... Well, no, it wouldn't have been PS3. It would have been 360, because the Mass Effect 1 didn't come out on the PS3 until the bundle. So I'm assuming 360. That game was just... It's good, but it's clunky. It's hard to go back to after the many, many improvements they made in 2 and 3. Especially after playing 3. The combat mechanics were nearly flawless. Really? You're going to try to hold him off? He's going to? going to die, bro. Mint condition, ME1 was a 360 exclusive at the time. I was also PC. Uh, first game is a rough ride, especially compared to the new ones. Yeah, it's the driving mechanics, um, the combat mechanics. Everything in that regard is rough, but the story was solid. And ultimately, that's what kept me trugging through it. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basila's escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. <laughs> Just the, the 
Combat's so funny to me. I've owned the Mass Effect Trilogy three different times. We had them individually on the 360 as they came out. Sold them when we beat them all because we wanted other games and they were worth some money. Rebought the trilogy on the PS3 because the engine was better on that, because it was, especially for the first one, it was released on the PS3 with the Mass Effect 2 engine as part of that trilogy. Um, sold that for uh, probably the same reason, I can't recall. Oh no, we got rid of it because there was rumor that they were doing a remastered trilogy that never happened. So we sold our PS3 copy thinking that we were going to get it remastered. Never came to fruition. So we rebought the trilogy as a set on the 360 because it's backwards compatible on the one right now. So. Uh, 360 exclusive, 2007 PC release in May of 2008. Yeah, for not very long, but it was 360 then PC and then PS3 many, many years later. There's a lot of guys in there. What do you think Bioware's working on now? They probably are working on something publicly that they've mentioned. I can't recall though. Uh, if you know, obviously chat then in. But if you don't know, what do you think they're working on? My assumption is another Dragon Age. What about you, Andre? What do you think? I hope it's something like that. What would you want to see? Another Mass Effect game or another Dragon Age game? Um, I know that the last Mass Effect game was not well received, but I haven't played it. So I don't need to play that either. I still time. have to play that. Andromeda. Yeah. What did you think of Inquisition for Dragon Age? Oh, that's right, Anthem. I forgot they were working on Anthem. Which that'll probably be decent. Uh, it looks pretty good from everything I've seen. I wonder if I could just do one. Usually in this game, you get to do something. Better. It was a Star Horse. Don't tell me what to do, bro. The double sword thing is sweet. Swinging back to the original reason I got on ME1, I didn't like it at first because I didn't fully understand what was going on. But I think that was the idea of it, right? At least with the first Mass Effect, you were kind of discovering the world. I think my favorite character was Joker. Oh, the, the pilot? The fact that he was voiced by Seth Green. Seth Green. Green. Yeah. After I gave a second chance and actually got somewhere, I fell in love. By then, I was so far removed from Kotar, I just never went back for it. Do yourself a favor, Rom. Spend 10 bucks, get a digital copy of this for your Xbox One. It's it's worth it. Don't go and try to find a physical copy because you're gonna spend upwards of a hundred plus dollars. Good to see you At least a good condition one. About your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you ever gonna wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. I thought her eyebrow was going to keep going up her face. With her face. I don't know. I've never abandoned anyone on a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is 
orbiting the planet. So are you pleased to see gender options in this game? Or are you pleased to see that? The character creation? Yeah. It's a common frustration for you. Basic her animations are weird me out. Was young and she has a powerful command of the force. We survived the crash landing, so I'm willing to bet that she may have too. Besides, what's the alternative? I mean, if she's dead, then no one can stop Malik and his Sith from wiping out the Republic. And I'd rather operate on the assumption that she survived. Vastel's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malik's followers can use the dark side of the force, and the Sith. I've already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. Careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. A luxury Vastala won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Vastala's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. The Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I, I don't know how much help it'll be. So everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malik became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malik's a ruthless tyrant who will crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malik and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi got such a monster. Malik and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order, but they so were as you can see, and against the wishes of the Council. Bioware loves their dialogue in games. They love writing a long story. They formed an army of ex-Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Vastala's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of Well, oh, yeah, for sure. So far, even with the support of the Jedi Council, I think Basila may be the galaxy's last hope. Taurus was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. That was a long time ago. The upper city, where the rich citizens lived, is, is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and a planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by suit by gangs waging never-ending war for control and the undercity is let's see worse the lowest level of terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat groups mindless diseased mutants that attack on sight i've already entered just mean mugging the, the camera this is how i look i have rbf i can't help the way i look that's why people don't like to talk to me i'm really a pleasant guy if you get to know me Unless you're Andrea. <laughs> she doesn't think I'm pleasant. I was just mean mugging you, Rob. Because I know you're watching. So I'm just going to stare.
grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. I'm doing this bossy, bro. Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see what's wrong with the little guy. Wrong, dude. He's just restless. Just get lost in your eyes. That's interesting. Thing. You will have to take carp. <laughs> I guess I have to. <laughs> okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is Ray. Bro, you didn't set your blaster to stun. What's going on with Twitch? Rob, I, I read some stuff earlier that I have any issues today. Is it kicking you? I'm part of a few different like, Twitch social groups. On Facebook, and I always see people when they're reporting issues. And today was especially a day with people reporting issues. Uh, kept trying to say dreamy, and it kept not letting me, no matter what I did to preface it. So I didn't think it was a command. Dreamy. Like it is, I just put you to sleep because I'm so boring. That's what Andrew would say. What? Just put you to sleep. That velvet monotone you've been speaking with. There's the other Rob. Rob Reynolds says I'm dreamy as well. That's why Rob's stuck by my side for what, 20 plus years now? And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in. Hi, other me. Rob, meet Rob. So Rob, other Rob, uh, definitely encouraged playing this game for classics as well. Um, it's got to be the beard. You know, the beard's getting long. It's been really warm. I've been contemplating. But I can't. 
I feel the beard's becoming iconic now. All right, it's part of my look. You're <laughs> shaking her head. Just be like the band lit and just do the goatee really long and braid it down. <laughs> oh, I have 44 credits. Wow. And credit to you and your hard work. Mm hmm. Haha. <laughs> mm, probably I can't buy a crap. Babyface needs to make a comeback? I don't know about all that. I don't think it'd be Babyface as much as it would be Fatface. We're going out now. Bow time. If the Sith wanted to get on everyone's good side, they'd go clean up the swoop gangs in the lower city. Where is Snob? The visuals in this are a little rough. It's just he silly. really didn't run us too far from there, did he? No. What other droid is a protocol droid? Yeah. She learned something. Xbox One game, how much do you expect? Yeah, not much. I mean, it's smooth graphics because it's kind of slightly up because of the console, but it's still a little. The texturing is what's rough still. Uh, Babyface Travis could get confusing. Might think it's AJ on the stream. <laughs> I mean, if you go back to our old episodes, like the first few weekly dosages... Um, Something seems to be bothering God. Yes, what's bothering me? We had short hair and a trim beard back then. From what I hear, the wealth Make it seem like it's so long ago, it was like six months. And if you're poor, well, it's not even that long that we've been doing this. Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. Seems like a long time though, as much content that we put out there. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malik's fleet. The Sith bombed it. Over a hundred subs on YouTube. I'm just a soldier. I go with the fleet admiral stealth. Over five thousand views on our channel, which is impressive. So a true testament to all our hard work. I know. And we get that kind of return. It's good that somebody's watching. So we're halfway through this stream. What are your thoughts on the game so far? I mean, it's fine. It's a little, like, clunky and old, obviously. It's not horrible. Hello there. Is this something you can see yourself playing? Allow me to look to buy some supplies. Yeah. My shop yeah. is the largest one in all of Upper Terrace, mostly. Yeah, work at five is no bueno, man. Thanks for checking out the stream for a minute. You can always watch this anytime, too. It'll be available on our YouTube um, right after the stream. But, uh, get some sleep, man. 5 a.m. comes early. And good luck with your uh, new store if you got that already or not. I can't recall when you said you were getting that. Davit's a legitimate businessman. You get my drift, smuggling. I've heard of the 
exchange. That organ. I have to pay him a protection fee every month. But it's reasonable. And I get most of my inventory through Dad. Davik hates the Sith as much as anybody. The quarantine has put a wheel up. Davik stays out of the way, and the Sith don't bother him. It's not smart to say bad things. I can't say I like having them here in Upper City. Good day to you, then. Uh, remember to come back to my shop if you ever need any supplies. Oh, it's still being built? Gotcha. So you have until end of summer. I think you said it was soon. I, didn't, I don't remember the timeline of events. Do you get a whole new staff or do you get to bring uh, people with you? Seeing how long this game is. I spent my days here in the canteen. I don't see much point in work. No, of course, of course. How long is this game before we complete it? So the main story to this game is about 29 hours. I'm the unofficial. So I'm assuming that's if you listen to all the dialogue too, because you can skip through it, but you didn't really get the story then. You're just gonna be clicking through things. Uh, completionist is about 46 hours. So roughly 30 hours it'll probably take you to beat this. Um, which is above average length of a game, I'd say. So it's pretty lengthy, especially for this time period, I want to say. I think similar can be said for the Mass Effect games. Those are roughly about that length each, I believe. What should you think about it? If you did an hour a day, take you a month to beat it. You're running around with swords out. I think that's what cracks me up here. Uh, well, don't mind me, I know what I'm for. You don't pay attention. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Girlbot playing. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent 
Two fingers. See your favorite. Oh, who shot first? Staring at me funny. Wah, two finger. You around here before? You looking to step into the? Why you're staring at me like that, cat? Mm, look who's in the background. Look at the cat. What? She's Why just staring at me. Who's the? Oh, Jabba. Why do you see, kitty? <laughs> He's really concerned. What are you looking at? Fresh meat? You want a piece of me? You cat stream. Dead-eyed Duncan, the number five ranked duelist in the... Uh, five. But it's an elite group. Big talk. Go speak with the hut in the corner to back And I'm back. He's the duel lord. I love watching Ice fight. <laughs> she proves this isn't just... When I was talking like this, she just perked up and just had like these big eyes. She just said something just incredibly strange. Be on camera. Oh, so that's not Java. He's another one of the huts. Okay, could you imagine being that alien, like that alien species? Just like this worm creature. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. Set my Alright, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the sun. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name. Time to do the Let's see what you got. With the flippy shit. Y'all winner. I saw your match against Duncan. Not bad for a rookie, but Deadeye's a joke. Even after I lost the use of my fingers, I can still beat him. Go talk to Azure, the duel organizer. If you want to step Step up to the big leagues. Hundred credits, I can buy that card deck now. Let's see. Ladies and gentlemen, in this corner, 
One of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury could destroy him. Who's that other five people? Is that it? It's not many, but. And in the other corner. Two fingers. 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 He almost got fingered. Two fingers. Let's put these nails. I'm just saying. You beat me fair and square, stranger. But if I still had the use of my fingers, you wouldn't have won. Back. <laughs> Whatever, bro. <laughs> Liar. Look at that, you got 200 now. Keep going, you're gonna make a bunch of money. Ladies and gentlemen, over in this corner, a woman with steel on her bones and ice water in her veins. She's cold and quick as and in the other corner, a rising star. I should have known. He has the kitties. He has the kitties on the camera. Let's look at the cameras. Cameras, get this. Look at the kids. Yeah. <laughs> she just came down on me on camera. Do you want to be on camera, kitties? <laughs> Say hi, Simbus. <laughs> Can you really get this out of my game plays out for? You're dueling. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. Ice is out. And everyone came here for the cat. Because the cat's the only cat who no, knows where I sat. I've never been one. She loves the scratches. So I'll just rub you. Very good. But you're wrong if you think. Pretty impressive, stranger. Ice is no pushover. People, are, if you're going to keep climbing the ranks, then I guess I'm next, don't you? My area of expertise is pretty much limited. You've come to the right man. I've been dueling here. Of course, there are only five of us left now. Duncan, this one happy cat right now. Off the couch, you shaky. Completely crazy. Me? Oh, I've seen my share of battles. What can I say? Bendak was a legend. Never lost a match his God so he wouldn't battle anyone unless it was a death match. But Bendax the best there ever was, plain and simple. Even now I have to What do you think, Simba? My area of only what I heard from the news reports, which are all censored by the Sith. Some pods crashed into them. Really, I, I don't think it's any of my business. The Sith want to call themselves rookies. I can only tell you what is working if you're looking for excitement. Goodbye, stranger. I hope there's such cat. Mini fur. Mini fur. Alright, I'm done dueling for now. I'm gonna go out and buy that guy's cards. Did you complete all the duels? No. Yeah. Should I? Hello there, youngster. I mean, you're running through them really easy. I mean, I almost died on that one. Yeah. Good Glad luck. That. Thank <laughs> you. 
It's kind of like your stream, but yours was just a static image. <laughs> All right, back to this guy. Sorry, at this point. Are you biting me now? Don't bite me. What's wrong with you? That's what we should do, Rob. Just have our cameras follow our pets around during the stream instead of us. Maybe we get more views that way. But still play the game, of course, but have the camera, you know, follow our pets. I could be onto something here. I mean, I do have a GoPro we could use, so essentially, and I do have a harness kit, so I could mount a GoPro on the cat. Although I feel we get a lot of like them using the litter box and then licking their butt, because that's what cats do. And that's not good for anything, really, because nobody wants to see that. And why do RPGs always have to have card type games in them? Why is that a thing? And no, it might not be the audience we want to attract. That is correct. But I suppose at this point, an audience is an audience? Maybe? Um, Final Fantasy had it, the, um, Witcher franchise, Fable had it, um, I mean Red Dead, but that was just kind of like card games in the bar, um, it's just so many, you know, I feel like so many of these type of games had mini games like this in it. Hell, even Bioshock had that pipe game that you had to do to unlock the uh, machines to take it or hack them. Um, Dead Space, I think, had a mini game. I don't know, it's just kind of a thing, I guess. Now, you generally don't like the mini games, correct, Andrew? Mm -mm. You're correct. That is correct. Damn. Yeah. You have been defeated. Didn't you bet on that? No, I bought the card deck for 50 bucks. Yeah. Why are you playing this one? It's part of the story. They force you into playing those type of games um, for the first time usually. And most of these things, you have to try them out. You give a tutorial. And then you can choose to whenever. Forty credits. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII had the best one in my opinion. Yeah, I mean probably out of that series or franchise. I do need to return and play nine on a future episode at some point. Fable Pub Games being fun. Sure. Uh, regular card games. 
Mm -hmm. I screwed up. I hit the wrong button. What'd you do? I hit the wrong button. So. Oh. Well, don't do that. Fable was a great series. I do want to play mm -hmm. um, the original Fable on the oh, classics nice. episode. Chicken Chaser. I, I enjoyed the Fable series. Um, I introduced Andrew to that on launch day of Fable 2. Um, I knew it was coming out. I didn't pre-order it. Luckily, I went down to the local game store and was able to pick up a copy. Uh, so I got like launch day items or whatever that came with it and brought it home. And um, showed Andrew the game, and you pretty much quickly fell in love with that game. Like it didn't take long or much convincing. Well, I had more time to play games back then, so I enjoyed it. That's true. Uh, the whole series was one giant cock tease. Like Fable? What do you mean by that? Each of them I enjoyed for unique reasons, but there were also issues I had with each one. Um, the third one specifically because of the story wasn't great. The second one's probably my favorite. I have to beat this guy to get the information I want from him, I think. Uh... Now, Rob, have you played all of those? Have you played all the fables? Peter Mallon, you promised all these epic set pieces, including a dragon fight in the first one that never got delivered. Yeah. I mean, the guy knew how to hype his stuff up and get you interested. And don't get me wrong. While, sure, he didn't deliver on all the promises, they were still great games. And I get what you're saying. Sure, he can be blamed for... You know, not delivering on the, the promise of it. Um, and a lot of games have done that, most notably in recent history, which is um, another one that I do want to play on stream, which is much improved now, No Man's Sky. Um, that is a completely different game than when it came out. It's so much better now. So that's another one I want to kind of show off. And it's coming to the Xbox One this, this summer, so it was originally exclusive on PS4. Um, and they're still adding content to it. But there was a lot of uh, backlash when that one launched. Uh, you promised something that I wouldn't show up at all. I would show up a game late. Just explaining. Gotcha, gotcha. No, I get it. I, I'm not disagreeing with that. Um, and yeah, a lot of the features, and that's kind of why I like two, because a lot of the stuff that I thought would be in one, um, from what I understood what the game was meant to be, didn't come until two. And then even with some of the ideas, like you had said, with 2, we didn't see until 3, and it still needed a lot of improvement. Uh, like the ability to purchase properties, and that mechanic was interesting. Oh man, you bought the collector's edition of No Man's Sky at launch? Yeah, you were definitely disappointed then. Do you still have your copy of that? Because I, I highly encourage you to update it and fire it up. Or fire it up and update it. Whichever order. Um, it's a very different game. And from my understanding, multiplayer is much improved as far as the ability of seeing other people with you. Who am I asking? Of course, I have it. Well, you know, I don't know if you got rid of it. A lot of people got rid of that one real quick. I still have my copy. I won't get rid of it. Um... But yeah, that might even be an interesting game to, to show on a uh, dosage, just because the conversation that could be said about the history of that one. I feel like there's a lot of dialogue there. Uh, I just beat <laughs> I say I bought it, have it. <laughs> you beat him and you didn't get it? Yeah, I said it was beginner's luck. <laughs> Do you have to beat him with 40 wage? I hope not. That's a lot of money. You have over five. If I don't, if I beat him this time and I don't get it, I'm, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I 
Oh, I should have used my card. Oh, that was a dumb move. It all comes down to this hand. One hand to rule them all. Can she do it? The pressure is on. Tie. It all now comes down to this hand. <laughs> Can she do it? It is not looking in her favor. Is it? Mm. Bust. Bazak is not for everyone. It... Questions? Oops. If you ever wish to test yourself. Fine. I don't know what to do now. Should I go back and fight some more? I should. I'm actually getting very tired. Do a duel and then call it. Alright. And then some action. Down. Ooh. Yikes. Yikes. Marl's gonna kill you. Wow. Marl kicked my butt. Wow. Owned. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm fairly confident you're not gonna win in a bite at all against that one. Don't know why it sounded like that. I'm not sure either. But, you're going to give it another go, or what do you No, know? I'm just getting more credits if I want. Oh, okay. Oh. He doesn't pay me for losing. All right. Nope. So, final thoughts on this game. What do you think? I mean, it's fun, but it's a little slow. <sighs> Which I think the beginning of all these games are a little slow, because you're figuring everything out. There's a lot of tutorials. But I can see how it'd be super fun. Yeah. Did you save? No. <laughs> that would have been funny. Saving. So, this has been another episode of DNA's Classics Lounge. We went back 15 years for this one to 2003 to play Knights of the Old Republic. Yeah, this was released on the Xbox, the OG Xbox, that big old giant VCR thing, and the PlayStation 2. You can get it right now, which we're playing it on the Xbox One digitally for 10 bucks. If this episode, not so much our chatter, but more so the gameplay interests you, spend 10 bucks. If not, I don't care. I'm not here to sell you the game. I'm here to show you a classic that I think is worthy of being showcased. And also taking your suggestions into consideration and making sure your game that you vote for gets some airtime. So, thank you all, though, for stopping by the Classics Lounge for another week. Be sure to check us out tomorrow night at 8.30 for episode 
35, 34. I can't remember now. Another episode of the Weekly Dosage as we're going to play an interactive FMV game on the Xbox One that I also believe is on the PS4. I could be wrong. Uh, it's called Late Shift. So tune in for that. It's a really interesting game slash movie interactive uh, thing that I think you'll all enjoy. At least I did. So until next time, thanks for watching and keep playing those games.